Hey guys, I'm Brufio. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are talking about removing unwanted noise from a recording. <laughs> oh, I think someone coughed here. <laughs> Can you hear it? Oh, that's amazing, man. Okay, guys, let's dive into the video. Are you ready? Let's go. This is a topic that is really, really important and I have to deal with it in every other session that I'm not the recording engineer in. So I thought I'd make a video to help you guys out who are dealing with the same problems, poor recordings. I mean, if you're recording in a home studio that is not treated acoustically or stuff like that, or the person recording doesn't know what to do other than pressing record and somehow singing or rapping into the microphone. This is something that can happen all the time. I got sent a session for mixing the vocals into an already existing track. And this is what it's currently look like. Lots of automation already. You see that I cut it stuff. But in the process, I thought I should share with you my struggle that I have. So this is a German rap song with female singer in the hook. So it's really nice the rapper is really good usually but there are some problems they just send it me the recordings yeah, I had a lot of stuff that I had to do I will give you some tricks now removing unwanted noise as you can see here is this main vocal and here are the doubles so typical rap stuff but what is important is when you have a close look that here I'm already editing stuff out this is not silence these are the breath before the singer sings or the rapper raps I just make them quieter because with compression stuff they get up but we need them so don't cut breaths from the singers or the rappers this is from the second verse now the unedited doubles and as you can see here we have a lot of noise when i exaggerate the wave files you can see it here so a lot a lot a lot of stuff that is going on here i will play you now what this sounds like Was wir machen und die Dinge meistens erst betrachten. So you can hear the beat running in the background. Maybe you put one part of the headphones away or it came through the speakers. I don't know. I don't care. I just have to deal with it, okay? So let's listen in isolation. So I can hear the main vocal and of course the chair is always like scratching. Let's listen again for stuff like that. Oh, I think someone coughed here. <laughs> can you hear it? Oh, that's amazing, man. You, it, it's on the left side, so you have to use headphones or a pair of speakers to really, really hear that. Ah. Oh. <coughs> okay, that's, that's crazy. All right, so what can we do about that? First things first. Um, the easy way is to do strip silence. It's what I call it because when I use Pro Tools all the years it's called it was called strip silence. Here it is on the audio so mark the event and this is for every DAW there is a possibility like that. Go into advanced not detect silence but so advanced and then detect silence. This will bring up this window here so you can see all the doubles we have and you can see like an open threshold so when it opens and when it closes so you can really hone in exactly at what db point should it cut when it gets to a silent point x and of course when it opens up again check here with analyze let's make it like this and just go over the red the red line so let's try it and as you can see you can also replay it here so now you see it it gets marked let's push it out now you see it will cut here so now i have it on the point where it just cuts out here you can exactly do what you need so let's leave it like this here is the it's previewed process when we go into here we see it cuts just a little bit pull it back this is how that works when you do it correctly <laughs> It should look like this here, and then it also... Okay, now you hear there's like a little clip. 
and that's because there is something underneath here was the second part you can see here that i already did crossfades and stuff like that so we have no blobs in between and then it sounds like this ein paar Tagen, hey, ich kann einfach nicht schlafen. Oh, als hätte ich nichts gesehen. Die meisten sagen doch nur sorry, ist nicht mein Problem. So before you continue watching the video, I just wanted to let you know that I made some nice ebooks on how to get better home studio recordings, perfect vocals, mix and mastering, and I also made a drum sample pack with all my essential drums that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, so electronic real and 80s drums and you can get them all for free now just go to brufimusic.com slash gift download them and you're good to go and if you have a roland phantom i even give you my roland phantom preset pack so let's get back to the video what we can also do is let's put in on the virtual mix rack a gate so you can type in here gate for example gate classic it's what i always use and then let's listen <laughs> So that works also. You have to be careful with the gate because the gate sometimes swallows the end phrase or the beginning phrases. So you really have to know what you are doing with the range, where you set the threshold. I am just a little bit OCD. I will always go in and manually have a look, but I don't have to cut them all manually. So that's great. So for demos and stuff like that, I just pull in gate for a record when I'm mixing, strip silence, then go in, just raise it maybe a little bit, fade them out so it's really nice and clean. So that's how you remove unwanted noise from recordings when you don't have it in your own hand how the recordings sound. Hope this helps you. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more tutorials on everything around music check out my ebooks on how to get better home studio recordings or perfect vocals and lots of other stuff so link is in the description below thank you so much for watching see you in the next one peace